principle of mathematical and using this principle of mathematical inductions, we will discuss on the following questions and the others. That means we will prove the following mathematical expressions using a mathematic principle of mathematical inductions. Dear all, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment this channel. If you subscribe it, don't forget to like it. Now it starts from questions number one. Here, uh, proves all proves that for all n greater than or equal to 1, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus plus n square z equals to n into n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 the whole over 6. Now we can prove this using mathematical inductions. Now let us start from step 1. Proof for that means let us take for n is equal to 1. Now for n is equal to 1, that means substitute n by 1 means as 1 square, which is the same as 1. 1 is equal to 1 into 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1. This is which is 2. This is 2 plus 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 7. 2 times 3, which is 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. Therefore, this is what? True. Step 2 assumes that it is true for n is equal to k. That means 1 square plus 2 square plus plus 3 square plus 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 k square is equal to k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 is whole over 6. Step 3 is we want to show that or we need to prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Now, if this statement is true for n is equal to 1, and I say for it is true, it is, if, if we assume that this is true for n is equal to k, then we need to prove that the given expression is true for n is equal to k plus 1. That means our claim is given here. 1 square plus 2 square plus plus 3 square plus 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 k square plus k plus 1 is whole square, which is equal to k plus 1 times k plus 2 times 2k plus 3 is whole over 6. So we need to prove this is equal to this. So now let us start from the left hand side from our claim. That means our claim is which is 1 square plus square plus three square plus plus k square plus k plus 1 zero square. But here this is the right one. Means that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus plus k square from step 2, which is the same as k into k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 is all over 6, which is given here, plus this expression, which is k plus 1, which is plus k plus 1 is the whole square. Now this is the same as by rearranging and by multiplying 6 here, then we have k into k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus. 6 times k plus 1 is all square is all over 6. Then by simplifying this, we have, and by taking k plus 1 here as a common, here you have k plus 1, and the k plus 1. Therefore, by taking k plus 1 as a common, we have k plus 1 is all into 2k square plus 7k plus 6 is all over 6. But again, this can be expressed as that means this 2k square plus 7k plus 6 is can be factorized as k plus 2 times 2k plus 3. Therefore, we have k plus 1 times k plus 2 times 2k plus 3 is all over 6, which is a required that means since our, this is the same as our claim. So, this is true for n is greater than or equal to 1. Question number 2. For all n greater than or equal to 1, prove that 1q plus 2q plus 3q plus 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 nq is equal with n into n plus 1, the whole over to the whole square. So, by using the following steps, you can prove using principle of mathematical induction. Step 1 is, let us check for n is equal to 1. Now, for n is equal to 1, means that 1q, which is the same as 1. 1 is equal to 1 into 1 plus 1 is all over 2 the whole square. Since 1 plus 1 is 2, then 1 times 2 is 2. 2 over 2 is 1. 1 square is which is the same as 1. 
which is equal is 1 cube is therefore 1 is equal as 1 which is step step 2 assumption part assumes that it is true for n is equal to k so simply substitute n by k means that 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q plus 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 k q is equal to k into k plus 1 or the whole over 2 the whole square this is the assumption therefore if this is if the given expression is true for n is equal to 1 by assuming that this is true for n is equal to k so we need to prove for n is equal to k plus 1 that means we want to show that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1 so our claim is given here 1 q plus 2 q plus plus 3 q plus 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 k q plus k plus 1 the whole q but this statement this 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q plus plus k q is from our assumptions which is the same as k into k plus 1 the whole over 2 the whole squares uh, and by adding this then uh, anyways our claim is this we need to prove that this 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q plus 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 k q plus plus k plus 1 the whole cube is the same as k plus 1 times k plus 2 the whole over 2 the whole square so starting from the left hand side of our claim we obtain like this 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q plus plus k q plus the whole k plus 1 the whole squares but this is the red one from our assumptions, which is the same as k into k plus 1 is all over to the whole square, which is given here, plus this statement, which is k plus 1 is all square, the whole cube. Now, this is the same as by rearranging this, and uh, by uh, squaring this the uh, quotient form, then we obtain here k square into k plus 1, the whole square plus multiplying this here this is over all over two, which is square then four times k plus one is whole cube so this is the same as by taking k plus one as k plus one is whole square here k plus one is whole square and again here k plus one is whole square then k plus one is whole square the whole into k square plus four into k plus one the whole over four then multiplying this here that means by simplifying this k square plus four k plus four so that means like this k plus 1 is whole square, the whole into k square plus 4, k plus 4 is the whole over 4, which is the same as k plus 1 times k plus 2, the whole over 2, the whole square, which is a given, this is the required result of our claim. So this is a required result, then this is true for any square term or equal to 1. For all n greater than or equal to 1, prove that 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 times 4 plus 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 1 over n into n plus 1 is equal to n over n plus 1. So using principle of mathematical relation, step 1 say that is true for n is equal to 1. That means for n is equal to 1, we have that 1 into 1 over 1 into 1 plus 1, which is the same as 1 over 2. This is the same as by substituting here 1 1, then we have 1 over 1 plus 1. The same as 1 over 2, then 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2, which is true. Step 2 is the assumption. Assume that it is true for n is equal to k. That means 1 over 1 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 times 4 plus 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 1 over k into k plus 1 is equal to k over k plus 1. Then our that means we need to prove that this. Uh, this is true for n is equal to k plus 1. That means our claim is 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 times 4 plus 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 1 over k into k plus 1 plus 1 over k plus 1 times k plus 2 is equal to k plus 1 over k plus. That means k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus plus 1. So we need to prove that this is this left and then right hand sides are equal. So let us start from the left hand side of our claim. That means 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 times 4 plus 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 1 over k times k plus 1 plus 1 over k plus 1 times k plus 2 is the same as since this is 
this from the the uh, assumptions or step two we have this statement one times one over two, one over one one over one times two plus one over two times three plus plus one over three times four plus 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 one over k times k plus one is the same as k over k plus one then adding this then we have k over k plus one plus one over k plus one times k plus two and this the right hand side can be simplified as like this k into here we have the common as uh, or LSM as k plus 1 times k plus, therefore by dividing by k plus 1, the multiplying by k, then we have that k into k plus 2 plus 1 is whole over k plus 1 times k plus 2. And the multiplying this k plus 2 by k, then we have k squared plus 2k plus 1. The whole over k plus 1 times k plus 2, but k squared plus 2k plus 1 is k plus 1 whole squared. Therefore, we have that k plus 1 is whole square, is all over k plus 1 times k plus 2, then 1 of k plus 1 is cancelled by k plus 1, then we left k plus 1 over k plus 2, that means k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus 1, which is a required result and which is proof, because it is true for any greater than or equal to 1. Now, thanks for watching my video. The other cases on principle of mathematical inductions are continuous. And don't forget to like our channel.